Hi, David again from ConcertBlogger.com. Uh, today we're here with uh, Juan Waters. Waters, yeah, yeah. We say uh, in Europe we say Wouters, as if it was a V. Okay. But since we moved to the States, uh, we go by Waters, because that's how people say it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, in the beginning, we would try to tell people my last name is Wouters, and then after a little bit, people. Uh, no, but it doesn't care. work for us. Yeah, I don't care. I'm going to say it as it is. Yeah, as I see fit, that's, all, that's what your name yeah, is. Yeah, I know. But I always try to make sure I say the person's oh, name. Oh, Waters is good. I think this is so important, though, as far as just as a person. You have to speak your name, the name correctly. You yeah, know? of this course. Is important. It's your identity, but so, yeah. exactly. But uh, America has the good thing that uh, it's like your name is not American. Right? Yeah, yeah, America has exactly. everything. Exactly. If exactly. your name is like, let's say, uh, uh, Perez, in, in Spanish it's Perez, right? Yeah. But here's Perez. 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 Exactly. Yeah, it goes to the, the other one's the accents in the first syllable. The other one is on the second. Syllable. And the second syllable, of course. And people just go by that. Yeah. Yeah. So we're here yeah. backstage at the uh, Four Knots Music Festival. You just uh, you just got done with your set. Have yeah. a great set. You had a lot of people out there. And yeah. I'm really impressed with the what was what's with the, the stage setup that you had. We uh, my friend Matthew Wolves takes yeah. care of that. Mm -hmm. uh, we always thought that uh, bringing uh, bringing uh, uh, working on the stage is a good thing. Especially you know of course we're getting paid, so we're uh, we're. Uh, we have to, we're part of like a sponsor, well, there's sponsors on the back, mm -hmm. nothing against that, but I'd rather have, you know, when I see pictures of a band in the back, I see like a stage that has nothing to do with the with, band, with who they are, or yeah, I so find it like a little background, so that yeah, you can, it's kind of like you bring your you look, are. you bring your exactly. look, exactly, sometimes it changes around, it's changed around through the years, we also have our own light show, we didn't do it today, because uh, in the middle of the day, you know, it didn't work out, and, uh, and Matthew, who does the light show as well as the drawings and the banners and all the music videos that we make. Uh, we were in LA yesterday. He, he, we lost our flight together. I, I caught an early flight and he came later. So he just showed up to the middle of the set. The of the set. I, saw, I saw him in the audience and I was like, yeah. I was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, 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 I rec he usually rec puts it up himself, but today I did. So you had to do it. I was like, <laughs> like, uh, I like to chill a little bit before I play. Yeah, yeah, well, now you had work to do. I was do. like putting things up with tape and stuff. <laughs> yeah. um, so you came from Uruguay. Uh, you worked in a factory. What brought you to music? What brought you to, to being a performer? Um, uh, I guess the fact that uh, that people liked it, maybe. Okay. So, you know, because uh, I've always done it at home. It's always been uh, something that I've always done. But um, when I started playing... Uh, with uh, my, the Beats, my first band. I have, no, actually, before, with the friends in the neighborhood, we had different bands. We had two different bands before before, before we formed the Beats, the band I had before. I felt like, you know, I've always done it, but the fact that uh, you recognize that there's an audience for you, that what you do uh, could bounce off of other people, kind of like, uh, to me, it's taken me to like, uh, keep doing it. Yeah, of course, yeah. of course, gives you that. Yeah. That push well, of, you course need I, to... of course I do it for myself, because <coughs> it's always been a need of mine, but the fact that uh, you know it's a conversation with someone else... Exactly, exactly, yeah. and some people don't understand that, that music is a conversation, Yeah. and uh, I think that the best musicians that I've met are the worst conversationalists as like we're talking or an interview, because they speak through their music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's really how they're talking. Why? Yeah. Exactly. Um, so you had a, a debut album, uh, NAP, North American Poetry? Yeah. That was a while back? It's at NAP. NAP? NAP. North American Poetry. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. And uh, that's, when did that come out? That came out a while back? or February. Oh, in February, okay. Yeah. came out in February. Um, it's the first uh, like official LP I do. Uh, it's a full length? Full oh. length. Yeah, I've done other releases uh, before under my name, but uh, it was nothing... Uh, Kind of like uh, properly uh, released as, as for like, I mean, like there's going to be press and all that. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and the whole the whole production of it. Yeah. I mean, I did the album by myself, you know. I, I did it, I, I had it ready before I, I knew I was going to have a, you know, a contract with a label and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did it just because I, I like to record. During yeah. that time, I wasn't even playing music with the beats. I, 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 uh, I was traveling around, I went to Europe. I went down to Brazil. Okay. On the cover of the record, there's a picture of me in Brazil. Oh really? Okay. So, cool, yeah. Cool, so cool. I was kind of like uh, not doing music for a little bit, 
I mean, play now. Yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, always every day your, your music is in your head, yeah. your soul, but not and, uh, necessarily out professionally yeah. playing out. I I was going through a time in which like I thought you know uh, I was I didn't know if I should keep playing music, meaning like should I give it a shot or should I just uh, you know find a job? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went through that. I went through that like when I did the album. Okay. And um, did that comes through on the album and some of the songs. And I would think so. Yeah. 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 I kind of struggle as to, you know, am I an artist or am I uh, a worker bee type no, of thing? No, you become a working bee as an artist too, yeah. Of course, The thing course. is that I've, I've always been, a, well, I don't know what an artist is, I've always had a, 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 some sort of a force to create mm -hmm. in me. So I've always done that, but I've never wanted, I've never tried to uh, make it be my daily bread. You know? Of course, of course. I've always kind of slacked at doing it because I've always had a job. Uh -huh. But at least I'm around and said, no, I'm going to give it at least a shot. I'm going to give it a real chance to, yeah. to be a professional musician. Yeah, you, you have to concentrate on other things, not just uh, uh, writing and playing. Yeah, when you're, yeah. When you're working on a job, your mind, you have to divide some of the, the, the energy in your, in your, your mind space yeah. to other things. And how can you ever be the artist that you really are? And that you you can become if you don't give it everything that you've got. Yeah, yeah, you know? you go, exactly. And sometimes you sometimes you don't get to this point unless you make the decision. You know. Yeah, of course. But, you uh, have to, you have to having, in your head, this is what I am doing. Yeah. This is who I am. By having a by having a job, you also give yourself the opportunity to like, you know, I don't I don't have to make money. You know. Yeah, yeah. So I'm good. So you know you don't take it as you would take it if if you were thinking about. That you gotta pay rent. Yeah, you gotta pay rent. Everyone's gonna eat. Everyone's gonna pay rent. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, luckily, I would. I think I would uh, retire myself from the business if, uh, if I ever, if that becomes my main uh, intention. Yeah, just to make money no, to live. No, no. Like, uh, I'm old, I, I still try to preserve the way I write music. Uh, it's a very uh, personal thing. Uh, I hope it. I hope it. I really hope. Uh, no, so you know it's gonna affect it, and I hope it affects it for the best. Yeah, of course. All my music keeps getting better as I continue. Yeah. Of course, of course. So you've uh, you're playing the show here today. You played the show, great set. Um, what are your what are your plans for touring coming up? Uh, I'm gonna be here a little bit. I wanna try to record. I wanna, I'm in Queens, so I'm gonna yeah. Be there. Yeah. Um, and uh, try to do a new album. And then uh, I'm going to Europe in September. And we have a couple of shows here in the city until then. Okay. One in Western Mass too. Okay. Yeah. And can Sailing. you find it on your on your website? Yeah, that's all on the internet. What's your what's your website's uh, uh it's on Facebook. On Facebook. <laughs> on your Facebook, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Check oh, out no, no, actually uh, I my friend takes care of the Facebook so I don't I couldn't vouch. But probably on the on the on the Captain Tracks website, my label. Okay. And uh, on uh, the <laughs> I'm sure there's a connection. A Nash book here. Okay, yeah, but you're under One Waters on, 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 on Facebook. Yeah. Okay, cool. Check her out there. And uh, thank you so much for staying down with us. We really appreciate yeah. it. Bye, and uh, great show. All right. And we'll okay. talk to you soon. I'll be watching it soon. All right. Cool, man.